Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Uh, so, where we last left off was we just purchased our new truck, and here we are in our new truck. It is a Freightliner Cascadia Day Cab. Uh, doesn't have all the bells and whistles to it, but it'll do what we want it to do. Uh, before I look out the web, I'm already, sorry, tree. Let me slow down for a second there. We are already hooked onto our next load, but before I get into that, I want to go over something about the uh, the bank financial part. So let's go ahead and go into the bank. So we have ten thousand left. I paid off one of the uh, the ten thousand dollar loans, so we now owe with the bank one hundred and twenty thousand overall. Uh, but our daily our daily payments. Keep that in mind. It's daily. Is twenty five hundred dollars. So ideally, per trip, we want to make more than twenty five hundred dollars okay uh so anything that's less than two thousand dollars we really don't want to do unless we have to um and i would rather it's it's much better to go ahead and take one of those loads than to do a, an empty load or you know do a bobtail run or something like that so keep that in mind as you're trucking along you do f absolutely want to make money in this uh, but you want to stay ahead of this $2,500 because you can go in the red and eventually you can go bankrupt. Uh, so just keep that in mind. So like, any, like I said, all the jobs I'm going to do, I'm going to try and aim for something that's higher than this number here. Okay. So I would ballpark this at you don't want to do anything less than $3,000. You do more than $3,000, you know you're pretty much okay. Uh, and that should cover your fuel, the cost of your fuel. And that should could cover this this daily optional here too, this daily payment I should say. So that is that for that. You can always uh, go ahead and you know get more if you need it, but uh, I would prefer not to. So, like I said, right now we have eleven thousand dollars currently, so we have some some leeway there um, before we actually run, have to worry about running out. But here it breaks out in this installment plan here. It tells you the breakdown of each loan, how much we have to pay per day. So keep that in mind. And as we pay this, these two off, uh, those those will hopefully get paid right away. Uh, we will absolutely, of course, make our payments less, which is always a good thing. Uh, the faster way to get this paid off is eventually we're going to build our our empire here, if you will. Uh, so eventually we're going to get. Uh, uh, upgraded garage and more drivers. So to upgrade your garage, I'll go over this really quickly before we, before we run out of time. Uh, go to the garage manager over here. We got our garage here in Twin Falls, and as you can see, it's tiny. In the tiny mode, for example. Oh, turn that off. In the tiny mode, you can only have one truck in there. Uh, and your home, your first garage is the only one that will start off as tiny. But to upgrade that, you just have to go into into the garage manager and hit upgrade. And it'll prompt you, you need $180,000 to, to go ahead and upgrade that. So we don't have that money, so we can't do it right now. But that is how you do that. You can also fast travel to your garage. So if you have multiple garages, you can fast travel to that garage and that'll get you to that trailer or that uh you know, to that destination a little bit faster uh when you do fast travel you cannot be loaded okay if you fast travel to another town so if you have say you're going from twin falls to elko because there's garages in both cities um you can't pick up a load and then fast travel and then just drop off your load okay it won't let you Keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and get back into this. Uh, we Oh, another thing. We did actually uh, connect this profile to the world of trucks. Uh, to do that, you need to exit the profile, back to the main screen, and click, there's a world of trucks icon in the upper right. You need to click on that, put in the information you need for your world of trucks account, or create a world of trucks account from that, that screen, and go from there. It is very important to remember your email and password that you connect with it. Uh, ob for obvious reasons. Um, I will not show you that process because it already has, I'm already connected and it already has my password in there and I'm not going to show you my password. So that is that. So let's go ahead and get back into the truck here. We'll fire it up. 
As you noticed, I uh, deactivated the automatic electric start. I have to push the ignition twice. We already got the lights on, but let's put them back on for safety. All right. SL is resituated. Let's get down to the road. So now today we are going to haul a mortar from Idaho Falls in the uh, the home store here, which is basically Home Depot. And we are going to... Sorry, no, we're going to Idaho Falls. We are in Twin Falls. My mistake. We're going from Sell Goods in Twin Falls to the Home Depot in Idaho Falls, and we're hauling mortar. 46,000 pounds, approximately, and we should get there in about... So that the job income will take us, uh, give us about $5,000, which is over our our daily payment, which is very, very good. And so we will go ahead and get underway. This is our first trip, first voyage in our new Freightliner Cascadia. So hopefully we want it to go, well, we always want it to go well, but uh, hopefully it will go Exactly as we would like it to. Would help if I actually uh, paid attention and actually went on the right road. Get on the road and give her here. Hopefully today will be a good trip. Mostly staying in the, the uh, New York State, so we should get pulled over too many by the scales. But that being the case, they probably will pull us in anyways. But for the most part, if you're staying within the state, they won't usually pull you in, but uh, it's random, so you never know. You never know. There we are. Oh, we're gonna go. We're gonna continue. Well, as I said before, you definitely want to keep an eye on how much money you're making and how much money you're you're spending, especially very early on in the game. Like I said, you can go into the red very quickly. Um. Technically, we, we purchased. Technically, we purchased our uh, our truck a little bit too early. Uh, ideally, you want to get to the, the four hundred thousand dollar loan before you purchase your first truck. This makes things a little bit easier because you can upgrade your garage, and then hopefully buy two trucks and get a, a an employee to help you out, pay out that loan. But we can worry about that in uh, when we actually get there. It does help. Like I said, it does help. You have that extra employee to get, get you a little bit of extra income. They don't earn a lot of income right away. Ideally, what I'd like to do is get uh, my get enough money so I can pay off those loans and uh, hopefully buy ourselves our, our own trailer and we'll get into that when we get there. Unfortunately, you don't unlock the your own trailer, your own personal trailer. Or the ability to purchase your own ability, your own trailer until about level five. Uh, I'm gonna go left, so I'm gonna get into the middle lane.
Come on, truck. Come on. You can do it. Come on. We do have a trailer, so I want to swing a little bit wider than I I'll take the outside lane. Red lights. Who likes them? I don't think anybody likes red lights, to be honest with you. Oh. Let's give her. Come on. We don't have the exact we don't have the strongest engine in this truck unfortunately but we are a little bit slow going but as long as it gets us to a to b we're, we should be okay Nice, nice, nice view here. Hang on. Hang on. I'm trying to do this so I can don't crash, but it's a nice view. A hey, very nice view. This is very nice, very nice. Take the exit here. On to the 84. Looked out a little strongly, didn't we? Oh, a little quickly, we took that uh, little turn. Could have ended badly, but it didn't. So let's just keep on going for now. Hoping it's clear. Now we're on the highway. We can go ahead and get ourselves up to 60 mile per hour. Thing to note with the external loads, which is your World of Trucks uh, loads, your max speed is 65 miles per hour, but regardless of what you're hauling, you cannot go past 65. But for fuel economy, I like to just stay around 60. So I'll set our cruise control for that. And we'll just start trucking. It looks like we're on Route 30. Oops, right around the shoulder now. Looks like we're on Route 30. 30 for the highway. A nice leisurely drive through the countryside. So I was thinking, as I was saying in the last video, that I'm probably just going to post everything as I see fit on my, my, 
the schedule from the YouTube channel. And I'm definitely thinking that's going to be the case, but uh, probably going to limit. Actually, don't know. No, I won't go there. I'll just leave it as that because the more I think about it, the more the more uh, not simple I, I make it. So I'll just leave it at that. Okay, so. Now that we own our own truck, we definitely have to consider uh, our daily usage of fuel. Because you do have to purchase fuel. Once we find a fuel station, I will be able to show you that. And as you can see in the up in the uh, the GPS there on the right bottom there, on the bottom right, uh, you'll see that the roads are actually grayed out. Before I actually drive on them, they turn. Once you drive over the certain highways, they start turning yellow as uh, you know you've been there. Uh, there are achievements for how much of the all the highway and all the map that you uh, you actually get driven on. You actually drive on, I should say. Um, I have yet to achieve the you know, one hundred percent, but uh, anytime I get close, they put on a bring out a new section of the map. Our new state and I have to start basically exploring the new state and I don't usually get to it right away so and that in mind there are roads in the game that are in the actual the map or the, the overall map that uh, aren't actually truck routes You can go down them and your GPS might send you down them, but it's actually fine for driving down them because they're not truck routes. So keep that in mind. And if your GPS sends you down a road that all of a sudden you see, actually here's a fuel station I can show you guys. The, uh, in your fuel. Oh, no, never mind, that's, that's Never mind, that's not off the highway. That's a that's a detour there. I don't want to do that just yet, so. Not unless I have to. Not unless I have to. We can show you in Idaho Falls probably where you get how you get your fuel. This will actually burn a decent amount then. Resume my cruise control. Jump over in this middle lane here. Over. Because we don't want to lose control and uh, screw it up. So, one rule of trucking is always maintain control of your truck, and you never want to lose control because that is when bad things happen. I guarantee. We all have at least one person in our lives that don't want bad things to happen to us. Oh. Of course, this being a video game, it doesn't really matter, but... And that applies to everyday driving. It doesn't just apply to trucks, it applies to everybody. You always want to maintain control of your vehicle because when you don't yeah, that's when bad things happen
That's when bad things happen. So it looks like we're on the I-15 now. I have to say, this is actually a texture of the road I actually like because I can actually see the lines now. Going into Idaho Falls, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off my cruise control. Looks like we're exiting here anyways, so... Like someone's got a low load of hay. Oh, here's second. Okay. So if you're doing the mouse and keyboard look about as I am. Uh, the mouse is pretty easy to, uh, it's pretty straightforward for figuring out, uh, how to look around. You just move the mouse and you just start moving around. But to reset your, your vision, the number one key on the, in your keyboard will always set you to the default, uh, set imp. Um, and that should keep you... Looking straight forward. So, just a little tip and trick there for American Truck Simulator. Waiting for me, or are you gonna, you're gonna start going now, aren't you? Oh, of course. Yep, so that goes uh, $340 that we just blew. I knew I should have waited for that, uh, that car, but. Oh, well, it is what it is. Nothing we can do about it now, but learn from it. And move on. And that is something we should do. And there's that uh, load of hay again. Wait for my red arrow to turn green. Right. Here we are at Home Depot. Let's get the trailer back there. There's a mortar unloaded.
and swing a little bit wider just to make sure my trailer clears all the obstacles it looks like they want it over there so that's fine we can, we can go ahead and do that we have the technology And there we are. We arrived safely at our destination. So we walk away with $5,200 on our, uh, our, our day for that trip. We gained 282 experience. Let's go ahead and continue. We'll go ahead and drive. And now we can actually drive freely with our truck. Uh, if those of you are, who are playing on the multiplayer server, if you deliver a trailer like we did, like a, a, not our own trailer, when you go to get, uh, pull out from under it, make sure you pull out from under it before you take another job. Um, how multiplayer works, let's put the brake on for I don't have to. How the multiplayer server works is um, when it respawns a trailer. Right? When you, you dropped it off and you accept a, another load, what will happen is it'll despawn the trailer you just dropped off and your truck is still underneath. And how it despawns that, it doesn't really despawn or despawn it. What it'll do is it'll take the trailer and drop it below the map. Okay? So when it drops it below the map, it tries to take it, your truck is still under it. So it physically hits your truck and takes out your truck while it's dropping to the or underneath the map so i always recommend if you're on the multiplayer server it doesn't usually do that on the single player server on your playing single player but just in the multiplayer server when it does that make sure before you take that next job you pull your truck out from that trailer because if there's no truck underneath it it's not gonna hurt you so just keep that in mind so let's go ahead and go back to the fuel island that we had there we'll go ahead and show you getting some fuel as exciting as that sounds, I'm sure no one gets excited about uh, spending money at the fuel, but... I just want to demonstrate to new players coming into American Truck Simulator, or even Europe Truck Simulator, that you can run out of fuel and you do need to replace your fuel. So, you'll go ahead and get out of here relatively quickly and if you are unaware of which way you need to go in this particular case I just follow the yellow yellow line the GPS because it takes me right where I, I need to be but if you're not sure if you hit the M key it'll pull up your map like it's so okay now in the multiplayer server you must be completely stopped in order to pull the map up just keep that in mind. But anyways, you can zoom in on the map here. Let's take your typical typical map. We can just go click on here, and that will give us a GPS map, our line here, to take us there. Actually, we're going to go over to here, because we're going to kill two birds with one stone. Reset the navigation. Put that back there. I kill two birds with one stone. We're going to find this, this truck dealership, because I know this is a truck dealership. Uh, because there's a shop, a sleep area, and a question mark. So that's usually the, a good sign that there is a truck uh, dealership here. And you have to discover it in order to, buy, to purchase from that dealership. So uh, so we're going to go ahead and kill two birds with one stone. And we will go that. So let's continue on our way. And hopefully we will not have an accident here because... This is a pain in the butt sometimes to get out of. Uh, so don't come in that way. Give her. Give her. Give her. That's one thing to watch out for too is uh, if 
you get really close to the uh, the AI, they will stop instantly. Which can be a neat trick for when you're merging or changing lanes. Never mind. Can be a neat trick for when you're changing lanes. You can kind of shimmy yourself close, close to them. If you're close enough, they'll stop instantly and let you pass. Technically, it's cheating, but... Come on, bus. Come on, bus. Let's go. Now let that car, these two cars go by and we'll get going. We'll get going. Okay. Let's go. Let's give her. Let's give her. Okay. Well, this portion of the video will be extended, of course, because we are actually extending it longer than I would normally take it. But I think this is a very important thing to show you guys. Important to stay in your lane. And I assure you, I am not this bad of a driver in real life. I put that out there. You can believe me if you want to. Ideally, we should be able to locate or fire this repeater built. Uh, let's make a quick U turn in there. All right, we discovered the shop. We discovered that. Let's go ahead and get ourselves turned around now. Luckily, we are a day cab, so this is a little bit further. Just be careful when you're coming out of here because this is an active road. All right, so we'll go into the fuel island here. Into the, uh, the in-game version of the Flying J. So go ahead and do that. We have to kill the truck. Well, not kill the truck. We have to turn it off. Then we can hit E or whatever button you set your fuel button to. And you can just simply put in your fuel. I only use $75. That's great. Go ahead and fire up the truck again. We will go find ourselves a rest area for the moment. And this one's right here. Park right next to these guys. And of course, to rest, you just have to hit your brake, turn off the truck, and you can hit the rest button. But I won't do that for right now. So guys, thank you for joining me. This will be the end of this video, but I uh, very much appreciate you guys joining me. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe, hit the ring, the, the little bell button that will you know, let you know when uh, I post another video. Until next time, guys, be safe, wash your hands, and we will see you next time.